Luke 17, verses 5 and 6 read, The apostles said to the Lord, Increase our faith. And the Lord said, If you had faith, like a grain of mustard seed, you could say to this mulberry tree, Be uprooted and planted in the sea, and it would obey you. I believe that the statement made by the apostles, saying, Increase our faith, This should be a cry that we too have in our lives. And if Jesus said all you need is faith the size of a grain of a mustard seed, and you can tell a mulberry tree, a tree which has strong and deep roots, to be uprooted and planted in the sea, if Jesus told us that faith in him is the key to power, well then, When was the last time that you cried like the apostles? Lord, increase my faith. When was the last time that you placed faith as the number one request on your prayer list? How long has it been since you've said the words, Lord, help me overcome my unbelief. Help me and strengthen my faith. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 21, verses 21 to 22, And Jesus answered them, Truly I say to you, if you have faith and do not doubt, you will not only do what has been done to the fig tree, but even if you say to this mountain, Be taken up and thrown into the sea, it will happen. And whatever you ask in prayer, you will receive, if you have faith. So in this moment, I would like to offer a few words of encouragement to you concerning faith. When your prayers are still unanswered and you feel like giving up, keep your faith in Jesus Christ. When your relationships are broken and you feel alone, put your faith in Jesus Christ. When you feel like you're drowning under the weight of your sin, have faith that Jesus Christ will rescue you. He will deliver you, clean you up, and make you pure. So, even when life disappoints and friends abandon, even on your darkest day, keep the faith. Even when you're faced with hardships that seem unbearable, keep the faith in God. When I learned how to fully trust in Jesus Christ, I can testify that he held me up every time I didn't have the strength to stand on my own. The Lord was and is the anchor for my soul. He keeps me firm and steady so that I'm not swept away by the storms in my life. All the glory and praise belongs to Jesus Christ because I can truly say that when I was at rock bottom, he lifted me up, he dusted me off, and he placed me on solid ground. Now let us pray. Lord Jesus, I would simply like to begin by praising you. Lord, I adore you. I lift your name up high. You are unmatched in all your ways, God. You are uncontested in your authority. There is no rival to you, almighty God. There is no equal to you, my Father. Lord, I pray that you would increase my faith. I pray that you would help me to overcome unbelief. Help me to crush any doubtful thoughts that try and reason with probabilities or statistics. Help me, Lord, to walk by faith and not by sight. Because as I do so, as I walk by faith, I know that there is no statistic 
that matters. There is no probability that matters. The only thing that does matter is you, King Jesus. Lord, your word says in Mark 11, verses 22 to 24, have faith in God. Truly, I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be taken up and thrown into the sea and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that what he says will come to pass, it will be done for him. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. Lord, help me to be confident in that word. Help me, Jesus, and give me the grace to be able to have fearless faith, a faith that is constant, so that regardless of what the situation is, I can remain rooted and firm in my belief in you. Should the test be a storm, Lord, give me the faith to believe that you can calm the seas in my life. Should my test be a mountain, give me the faith to believe that you, my king, can level that mountain. Should my test even be a Goliath, Lord, give me the faith to believe that your power will defeat every giant. Lord, when this world disappoints, when it turns against me, may the Holy Spirit constantly speak to me as a still small voice. And may he reassure me that you are my rock when everything else is sinking sand. Ephesians 6 verse 16 says, In all circumstances, Take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming darts of the evil one. Help me, Lord Jesus, to take up that protective shield of faith, a shield that renders the devil's attacks useless. Lord, even as I request that you increase my faith, I pray that you would press upon my heart a need and a desire to search your word daily. Because the Bible says in Romans 10 verse 17, so faith comes from hearing and hearing through the word of Christ. I bless your name, Lord Jesus. And I ask that you would search me and remove anything that hinders the growth of my faith. If it's the people around me who are always discouraging, I pray that you would remove them, King Jesus. If it's pain, then Father, I ask you to heal me. Anything that might possibly be weighing me down, I pray that you would lift my burdens. I will continue to trust in you. I will continue to cast my cares on you. I will continue to place my faith and my hope in you, Lord. You are the one who is, who was, and who will forever be. And I thank you for loving me ever so deeply. May your holy presence be with me now and always. Lord, continue to strengthen me and continue to increase my faith. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.